All right. I'm live. I'm live. I'm here, y'all. We made it. We made it. I think I'm live anyway. Yes. All right. Here we go, family. Welcome to Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. We are ready. Hey, Robert. I'm waving at you. Very nice. No, this is um, Robert Smith. We went to college together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he thought you was his cousin. Chad Deese used to go to my old. Hey, Chad. Hey, Shannon. Shannon Williams. That's Uncle Richard's daughter down in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So the moment you've all been waiting for. Hey, Earthy. Um, so I told you that I would have. Hey, cuz. Oh, look. My special guest ain't got. She just gonna walk across the screen like, eh? What you checking your makeup? What she doing? Check her makeup. My special guest, y'all. I can't take the phone off the thing because y'all know I'm gonna lose my. Don't take it off. <laughs> they don't know you here. I'm live. Y'all, it's Thompson and Ethel Isaac. Hey, y'all. That's my daddy. I'm crushing your head. I'm crushing your head. That's daddy. That's mama. Y'all come on and say hey to the people. Hi. Come on up. They can't see y'all back there. Hi, Zol. Hi, Zol. Hi, Zol. <laughs> Hi, Zol. <laughs> That's daddy, y'all. Come on here, Miss Ethel. Hey, hey, hey. Look at her thing. And I'm not helping her cook either. She ain't gonna <laughs> Y'all know she can throw down, but she ain't gonna help me this time. No, no, no. And had the nerve to eat something before she got here, so yeah. You know something after breakfast. Yeah, she they don't eat very often. You know, when they get older and the kids leave the house, they don't cook no more, they don't do nothing. I'll be hard pressed to get a meal when I go home. Mm -hmm. But anyway, in Sugar Brown's kitchen, uh studio kitchen tonight, we are doing a salmon um I think we're gonna do a salmon alfredo with the side of asparagus. Yeah, got a nice green salad, Daddy. I boiled you some eggs because I know you like eggs in your salad. Yes, ma'am. So I did boil your eggs. Thank I got you. the salmon seasoned. I don't know if you. There you go. There you go. See. Mm -hmm. I just got it on some butcher paper and parchment paper underneath there. Uh, all I did to season that was some. Um, Little salt, little onion powder, uh, some herbs, some oregano, and some um, a little citrus seasoning. Citrus seasoning for my fish. I like a little citrus seasoning in my fish. It just kind of brightens it up. And we got our asparagus in the little steamer basket. And I've got it sitting up like this because I'm. I just want to kind of steam through the bottoms and then throw them on the heat so that I can kind of sear them off. So I'm not going to turn that off now because it doesn't need to overcook. You don't need to overcook your asparagus. Four or five minutes once it comes to a boil tops. Let it turn a bright green, then pull it off and start to fry it. Alright, it's, it's easy, it's easy. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is so I got my little griddle here. This is the baby griddle. That's the baby griddle. I'm gonna heat that up because uh, I'm gonna sear my salmon. Now why? There it go. I'm gonna sear the salmon on both sides to get it a nice golden crust. Then I'm gonna finish it off in the oven. That's how you get it nice and flaky when it starts to flake away. All right. So, uh, Mama, Daddy, y'all just gonna sit around there. And and watch green leaf and nothing. We're on the food. We're doing the food. What? Y'all got to come and talk to the people. We're here. We're not talking to the people. You got to talk to the people. You talk enough. I can't. No, I can hush. I need for y'all to come talk to the people. I can't cook. Um, so, fun fact. My mom and dad, Thompson and Ethel Isaac, um, have, y'all been married, what, 40? 46 years. 46. 46 years. 46 years ago, June 16th, they were married. Mm. 
and they dated for six months. Four and a half. Four and a half months. They dated for four and a half months. Well, we was in high school now. Yeah, but they didn't date in high school. They graduated in the class of 66 from Mount Pleasant High School, but they never dated in high school. Uh, I shouldn't be telling y'all story. Y'all ought to be telling y'all story. They dated four and a half months, and no, she wasn't pregnant when they got married. Thank you. Hello. I know y'all were thinking it. Y'all messy. Messy. I'm not telling nobody how old I am. I'm 44 years old. Ah, so I came a little while after they, they, they commenced the marriage. All right. Okay, okay. We'll tell you a story about um, as, as we get a little further along about how they met and how they finally hooked up and all that stuff. I'll let them share those details for you, okay? But right now, I'm going to get dinner started. So right now, um, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my salad because I need some greens. So I cut my Roma tomatoes and cucumber, my English cucumber, you know that's my favorite, and some red onions. I put it on this paper because I didn't want it to um, get all soggy. So I'm gonna just take that off. There you go. And now I'm gonna cut up my romaine lettuce and. Uh, don't get started. Mom, Dad, y'all want a little something to drink? No, good. I got Nothing? Refresh, 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 Beautiful romaine hearts here. All right, all right, all right. A romaine. I won't make it too big because I think Daddy said he had a salad early. All right. So all I'm doing is is just dicing up the salad and. You know, I'm sorry I was late, y'all, but I had to make sure the parents got here all right. And, uh, they finally made it. Yeah, traffic, traffic, traffic. Traffic, traffic. That's why I told you to leave at 2.30, 3 o'clock, because I know on a Friday, traffic is bad in Charlotte. What company? Neighborhood. Oh, you had a, you were entertaining a neighbor before you left? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was minutes. nice. 15 minutes. Though. Yeah, y'all should have told them y'all had plans and time to skedaddle. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. Okay. That's wonderful. See, my parents are so hospitable. That's where I get this from. Yes. Yes. We, we entertain. We aim to please. Is your bag Mama, can you turn that turn that down and put it in the um I like my little incense going. No, that's good. I asked him was he blocking it with his bag. Uh oh, okay. Why you ain't put your bag in the room? And I moved my sleep mask so you can put yours by the, by your bedside. Yeah. So me and my dad both are on a CPAP. Let me tell you, we people complain about their CPAP and you know when they go get them tests and stuff. But daddy, ain't that the best thing? I ask people to use them. Listen to daddy. I do too. You better use it. And <laughs> Mama said I do too. I advise Yes, spouses. Mother said encourage your husband, your wife, whomever it is. With that ridiculous snoring issue. Yes, it's serious. It could cause a breakup. It really it <laughs> Did y'all hear that? See, it's coming out now. It's coming out. She said it could cause you to break up. It probably could. If you don't use it and you still sounding like a freight train coming through downtown Kansas City, you better get on that CPAP. I love mine. I don't miss a single night. Last night I got a 100 score. 
Wow. Mm -hmm. 100 score. I got to get yours on your phone too so you can see your score cuz I check my score every day. Yeah. Um and I just love it. Pure oxygen blowing through my nostrils at night. And um I, th I think it's keeping me alive cuz what I found out was I was I had more than 22 instances throughout the night where I stopped breathing. 22. I was near dead. So when when um, the doctor told me, she was like, we're going to have to put you on a CPAP. I was like, bring it on. I said, I know the effects of it. I know how well it works because I've seen what it does for my dad. So she said, I've never seen anyone so enthusiastic about using it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a witness. I'm a living testimony. It works. It works. Yes, it does. And it works for your good. It does. It works for your good. Mama, why y'all sitting way over there? I need for y'all sitting with the people. That's enough. Yeah, now they, daddy said, I want to come so we can be on your live. But you ain't on the live. Y'all sitting over there watching Greenleaf. Sit. I got my onions. Oh, let me get my olives for my salad. My banana rings. That's spicy banana pepper rings. Oh, they're so good. They're not hot. They're a little spicy, but they're not hot. Hot, you know. But they just have a little kind of sweetish type flavor to it. Mm hmm. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad to have my mom and dad here, man. Yeah, I'm happy that is here. wonderful. We were trying to get a little while to surprise you. I know. Every time something. Oh, okay. Hey, Shalana. Shalana. Shalana, come on. Let Shalana see you. I was talking see. about you last night. For real. Hi. That's your auntie, Shay. Hi, They're your uncle. All right. Tell them to get in the pit. Aunt Hattie said, get in the pit. Oh, See? Wow. I told you. I said, Hattie, <laughs> tell your husband to call me. Call, call, tell your husband to call his brother. <laughs> and I have to get your number so I can call you when I want to. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll call you. I'll, when I talk to Amos, I'll get your number. Yeah, y'all got to stay in touch, honey. Y'all got to keep up, keep up with each other. Oh, I had to check on you. Yes, I will. Calvin Jr. said hello to y'all. Hi, Calvin. Uh, Mama and Dad say hi. <laughs> and miss you. No, this is your oh. nephew. Yeah. Oh, nephew. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, y'all. This is this is so tonight we are doing the um I got my my salmon that I've seasoned. They're so beautiful and pink and um <laughs> Shalana Tom bring some of those good eats over to our crib. Uh, <laughs> the, yeah, daddy say traffic. Traffic. That's just the answer for everything in Charlotte. Traffic. Yes. Um, so I'm going to sear these, uh, the salmon in just a little bit because I want to get a nice little sear on both sides. Then I'll finish it off in the oven so that it's, it's nice and flaky, not mushy. Um, I got my salad. Mm -hmm. And, oh, I want to put some capers in it. Oh, my boiled eggs because daddy loves boiled eggs in his salad. I do too. It's this is something good. What y'all doing? Oh, Greenleaf. Come around here talking about the show. Greenleaf. Y'all talking too show. Your show ain't this. Oh, okay. I need to just, I should have just had y'all come in here to review Greenleaf. They ain't on the live. Y'all need to get in the picture. Um. So, yes, my special guests have arrived. And uh, y'all, Shatara figured it out right away. When I put it out last night yes. that I would have um, special guests, 
two OGs. She texted me. She said, are you special guest grandmama granddaddy? I said, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I said, Tara, you know me too well. I didn't talk to, I didn't talk to her mom. Well, you know, she's been out, she, Tara's been out of town. So she told um, Kasim to watch for her. Hey, Kasim. That's my <laughs> handsome nephew. I know she so he's got herself. the kids. Ariah and then all of the the whole clan. Yeah, I tell you, they such a sweet couple, sweet family. So, um, so she'll be home soon, and then she can watch the replay. All right, so I got one, one egg cleaned up and ready to go. Let me get that excess water off of it. Dump it on in my salad. Yes, yes. So the parents are here. Hey, Skeeter. Mama, Dad, that's my play play boyfriend from Stillman. Oh, really? Yeah. Hi, Skeeter. <laughs> Mama said, Hi, Skeeter. <laughs> no, that's not. Oh. Yep. We're from her college. Oh, yeah. Well, Michael's parents are headed this way, too. We're in B. Oh, nice. That's cool. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, y'all, so mom and dad are here. Yes, the people that, get... <laughs> my dad never met a camera he didn't love. <laughs> never met a camera he didn't love. Hey, that no, no, I love it. See, that's where I get, get my uh, love of the camera from. Because I'll jump on in there, honey. And, um, y'all have any burning questions? For this 46 year marriage. Um, uh, Mama, you're being a terrible guest. Yeah. Shut up, no, don't ask me nothing. Why? People want to know y'all's secret yeah. and how y'all make it last for 46 years. Yeah. Lord, no. You get something out. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is that? Put something in, you get something out. Put something in, get something out. Wow. That is some sage old advice right there. You gotta, you gotta put in what you get out. Yeah, like we used to have a computer expression when I took computer programming one year at Stillman. One of the two years I had to take it because I flunked the first time around. Um. And and when you were programming your computer, they always had that um the go go expression: garbage in, garbage out. Mm. Marriage is the same: garbage in, garbage out. That's what Daddy just said. What you put in is what you get out. Yeah. Mm. Well, somebody should have told me that before I got married. <laughs> <laughs> Some people don't. I'm just saying, you know, it ain't for everybody. But they managed to make it work all these years. Y'all know I ain't never heard my parents argue or cuss each other out. Y'all don't cuss? I don't even use the term. Well, you know I don't say bad words. Now, <laughs> now my mama, that's where I get my mouth. Mama can go there. But I, I don't think I ever heard y'all had a crossword with one another yeah, until y'all got old. We but that's because y'all just we irritable. We gotta say, and we finish. Huh. Well, say what you gotta say and move on. Like you I'm, ain't going I'm, nowhere. I'm extremely careful and, and, and cautious about her feelings. Oh, Daddy, that's so sweet. Yeah, I do. Especially I do. that I'm older. Yeah, yeah he is. I And I got to admit, now, my mom is kind of a hard knocks. Like, you know, and she was even that way when we were kids. Dad was is definitely more sensitive. Now, don't get me wrong, he is a manly man. But he is more expressive about, you know, his feelings and stuff. Yeah, dealing with girls mostly. Yeah, girls. girls. Daddy used to leave us Valentine's Day cards until, I think until we went away to college on our pillow. 
Yeah, that's why I ain't got no man now because my daddy messed it up for me. And then what do that? Don't you burn up those things? I ain't burning nothing, Mama. I don't burn nothing. Okay. Your uncle cooked the sparrow. Oh, he talking about does the man still do it? I wish a man might put a oh. Uh, Valentine's card on my pillow. I don't know. No, I said only my daddy. They, they don't be doing that. Yeah, so daddy messed it up for everybody because any relationship I ever been in, I compared them to my daddy. And oh well. What? Work. It don't work. Ain't but one daddy. But that's a good way to do it. If you, if, if See, all... daddy, you got to come close so people got to hear you. You got to teach them fellas. Yeah, you got to teach those guys. I mean, they have to know that. Before. I can't teach no man how you know, to be a man. You cannot. But the parents have to teach them that. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all need to teach these fellas. No, you can't teach them. Once no, because cause once I get them, mm -mm, that's where my mama mouth come in. I'm cussing them all the way out the door. <laughs> out. You don't belong here. All right, now. Mm. Oh, they got another one, Kima. Yeah, we got people, people asking for advice, and y'all sitting way over there. <laughs> <and laughs> y'all ain't no help to nobody. Oh. Parents. What, I, mean, what, I don't know why, what they doing. I don't, I don't know. They're relaxing. Y'all relaxing, but y'all, I need y'all to work. Y'all came to be on my show, so I need for you to come and do your job. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Just come and do your job. Mm-hmm. Got my salad done, some eggs, some olives, some banana peppers, kind of sweet banana peppers, they good. Uh, romaine lettuce, some red onion, some Roma tomatoes. It's just beautiful. Yes, it is, it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna sit that to the side till they get ready to eat. Look at uh, Sean. Sean? Yeah, uh, I can tell Sean Stoops. Oh, hey. Only she's Sean Greg now. Uh -huh. oh, they say, hi, hey, Mon Pa. Hey, how you doing, Greg? <laughs> hi, darling. Oh, they say, hi, darling. Tell your mom and daddy I said hello. Oh, oh that's Lou Niece. Hi. Nessa. Oh, they say, hey to you too, boo. Okay. That is just wonderful. I got my bacon bits in the oven. Now, I don't, I don't want to burn my bacon bits with don't my love. Don't burn nothing in your kitchen. Don't burn nothing. Nothing. My love. Yes. There we go. Got All some right. little bacon bits there. Yes. Rendered some of that fat off of it. Now, I'm going to just dab on it. Just dab on it. Get the, the excess oil off, and I can... Because some of this bacon is going to go in my um, Alfredo sauce. Yeah, I'm going to put some in the salad too, Daddy. But some is going in the sauce for your pasta. Okay. Yes, honey. I'm, I'm well, going to treat you right. Mm-hmm. going to treat you right now. That is your, uh, that thing kill you Hold on. Let me, um, uh, y'all want me to turn the TV for you? Daddy, I know you want to watch CNN. Yeah, but I'm gonna watch your show while you're doing that too. I'm gonna come you. closer. Nobody can see y'all. I can see. No, they can't see you. I don't want to be melting in your kitchen. No, I want you to sit right here. You can't get around to get in your refrigerator. Yes, I can. Go ahead. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that do look good. Yes, that really good. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. I know what to do. Yeah, I just move stuff around, you know. I got 
this table was bigger. No. Ain't no big table. The best come in the bag and then you start And then I put them in the oven to okay. get the fat off. Just a little shortcut. If you don't want to use no Whole long strips bacon. of bacon, you just buy the, the big um, the bag, of bag and drop it in there. And drop it in. Drop it in the pan. There you go. Now they can see y'all. Mm -hmm. Look at that. My Ethel, you taught her right. Taught me what? <laughs> what she teach me? I was <laughs> oh, look, see, everybody wanted to see y'all. Oh, and y'all right. sitting back there in the cut, nobody can see y'all. No, I'm watching the, uh, the other thing here. I know, well, it's off now. Mm. Yep, that's mom and daddy, y'all, 46 years. And counting. They counted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and counting. They even, um, they even take their doctor's appointments together so that they can keep up with the other about, okay, what the doctor said, what you're supposed to be taking. I mean. Well, one can't hear, yeah, the other can't see. So. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, Lord. Did y'all hear that? No, no, Daddy I, said, I hope they don't. Please Daddy said, one can't hear and the other one can't see. So we got <laughs> so to make sure we do this thing together. Yeah, come out of the hole. You got a whole person by the time y'all <laughs> go in together. <laughs> That is hilarious. I love it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, well, this this is it. So I'm going to um right now I got a little oil on the Yeah, so that that's all I did. I just put a little oil on my my pan. I'm gonna just spread it around a little bit because I'm gonna lay my asparagus on here. No, no, I'm just spreading it around. I ain't wiping it off. I'm just making sure it, it completely coats. And I'm putting my asparagus on here first so that it doesn't taste like fish. Okay. okay. And then when I pull the asparagus off, then I will sear the fish on top of that. Okay. Okay. Let's get that turned up just a little old bit. And, um, now that salmon don't take a lot, really. No, that salmon, and it's not that thick. I got you. So maybe three minutes on each side, and then I'll put it in the oven, and by the time it comes out, it's perfectly cooked through, oh, okay. and it'll flake away. I'm wow. showing you. It's going to come together. It's going to come together. All right. Now, I got um a big pot of water here. This is my pasta. I've already salted it. Here we go. Salted water. Um, for my pasta here is a fact um, when you do your pasta the it's the salt that keeps your pasta from sticking it's not oil I don't put oil in my pasta that's not right I just put do let it come to a rolling boil and salt that's it the salt is what prevents the pasta from clunking together Okay, Ooh, so salt. we got mm -hmm, the salt. Yeah, you don't have to put no so oil. In. Now I put the oil afterwards when I dress it with my spices and all that stuff. I'll show you that process in a little bit. But yeah, y'all, this is a little family dinner. Mom and Dad just came up on a little whim and mm -hmm. just surprised me. Well, she brought my dinner to my my breakfast to my bed and. He was only 13 and a half years old. Oh, yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. I was younger than that. You keep you saying 13. 13. I you were 13. No, you I was like 12. I can't 11. Remember. I knew you was young. And yeah. it surprised me so you used to sit in the kitchen with Mama all the time looking at her cook. Mama went to work that day and I came in from my third shift. And you had my breakfast ready by the time I got my little first nap. Sure did. Show sure did. What did I cook for breakfast, Dad? You had eggs. You had grits. You had toast. I'm taking it. I'll never forget it. A regular breakfast. Man. My favorite. I cooked a real breakfast. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I tell you, I'm amazing. I'm amazing. <laughs> sure did. Ah, wow. That is just wonderful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to be lovely. Can't wait. Okay, got my asparagus pan hot. Now, might the sizzle might be a little bit 
loud, but I'm going to just stick it here on the... Now, you, you, you rolled that or... Yeah, well, I've steam it. Oh, steamed it already. Not too much, cause you don't you don't want it want it wilted. So uh, asparagus is really a, it's like a flower. You know, you cook it too long and it's, it's a mess. So you you want it nice and bright and and kind of to the teeth. And. Uh, I'm gonna let that let that work. Now we're gonna keep these from getting salty because I didn't put any salt on them. I'm gonna put a little salt on it now. Uh huh. I don't want. I'm not trying to over season it. I'm just keeping it kind of fresh because your pasta and your salmon is what's really you know gonna hold your seasoning. So I got a little Himalayan salt. There we go. That's it. And that'll start to draw some of the moisture out so that your asparagus doesn't get too soggy. All right? See how it's starting to turn bright green? Mm-hmm. Yes. Y'all try some, try some different vegetables. Yes. You don't have to. We ain't got to be eating um, collard greens all the time. You know? It's just some nice green asparagus. It's good fiber. Keep, keep the system functioning properly. Mm -hmm. And, uh, ooh, that's really turning pretty. Look at that. I'll finish it with a little pepper after a while. But for now, I just want to get back on that. No, I'm not going to put these in the oven. You can do them in the oven, but I wanted to... Get a little a little crust on it. Mm -hmm. So I didn't I didn't put them in the oven. I'm gonna take them out just a little bit so they don't overcook. And um this thing this thing gonna go in my sauce. What'd you say, Daddy? You see that uh-huh, this is going in my sauce. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to just put it in my little trusty pan, uh, my little copper pan, after it kind of fries. Oh, my goodness, that's beautiful. Look at that. Give Dad an apron. He's on it. <laughs> Rochella. To give Dad an apron, he's on it. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> look at him. There you go. Look, truth be told, my daddy is an amazing cook. He, it gonna take him all day, but he can really throw down. He's a neat cook. Uh, I was telling him about how you like to keep the kitchen clean yeah, as you cook. Cooking, yeah, he's cleaning as he's and cooking. Yep. My grandma told him that. Too. My mama told him that. See. That's right. And he don't like one time I um I had some salt with on my stove and it's it's a habit of mine now um because I grew up like that. I don't like little salt sprinkles and sugar sprinkles on my stove. Oh it drives me crazy. Pot splatter. Pot splatter, all of that. Thanks, Dad. He turned me into a monster, I tell you. I don't like none of that. So I have to wipe it as I go. There you go. Wipe it as I go. And, um, yeah. Pull that on off of there. You don't want to overcook it. It kind of spread out a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Let me tell you, honey. A speck. How pretty. That's, that's how your asparagus is supposed to look. Right, right there. Okay, we need not overdo it. Okay, I'll set that to the side. And now I'm gonna put my salmon on the same hot stove. Turn it down just a little bit. Mm. Let me tell you, and this is my small one. I got a big one, Daddy. But I used the small one today because um, 
I don't need the big one. Oh, yeah, I don't need the big one. So all I'm going to do is take this beautiful salmon that I seasoned on both sides. Y'all, when you season your meat, you season all of it. You don't just season one side and cook it. You got to season the whole thing. All right, and I'm going to just lay it on the um, eye front side down first to get a nice crust. Boom. Let me show y'all what's, what's happening here. Okay. There we go. Get on, get on up there. All right. Yes. So y'all, um, so you heard Rochella, Rochella McDowell chime in earlier. Rochella, mama, I don't know if you remember Rochella Dow, D-O-W from Elliot. Okay. She graduated a few years before me. But um, Rochella married Leotis McDowell. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful woman. Beautiful yeah. inside and out. Okay. And she just finished, um, Rochella just finished her book. I saw that. Yeah. Mama, see, Mama be on Facebook, honey. She be, <laughs> Mama keep up with y'all. I saw that. And um, Rochella is a published author. Wow. Um, uh, a beautiful book. I've got to get the book, Ro. I've got to get the book. So, um, go to her page, Rochella McDowell. And Rochella, type in your information on the live. If you're still on here, type it on so people can see how to order your book and me too, for that matter. Thank you. To God be the glory. Mama said, she said, thanks, Mama. <laughs> Say you got it, you got it. Yeah, my parents are wonderful encouragers. If it's something you want to do, they gonna encourage you to get it done. Get it done. They always been my biggest cheerleaders. That's why they hit doing this live with me, child. Yeah. Mm. All right now. There you go. You gotta lift each other up. Lift each Rochella, put your information on there. Type it in so people can see. I wanna know where they can find you and get because this my um lives are public. So I want people that may not even be our friends to see. Uh Leotis just said the same thing. That's right. He said, if I can't praise you, who how am I gonna expect somebody yeah, else to do true. it? Oh, that's so sweet. Pearly saying, hey, is that Mama Ethel and Daddy Thompson? Yeah. <laughs> yes, the they are in the house, y'all. Mom and Dad are here. Right here. Yeah. Because it's kind of thin. So um, if I had a thicker piece like I did the other night, I, I would leave it on a little bit longer. Yeah, but about three minutes. The daddy was worried about the salmon, y'all, because I turned it. He thought I turned it too early, but that's what you want right there. Okay, so you got a nice little crust on there. All your seasonings just kind of went in a little bit. And when you turn it, don't keep flipping it. Flip it one time and leave it alone. Okay. Walk away. Now that one, just go, that one goes into the oven after. Mm -hmm. okay. Very, very light. Like and that's just to help it continue. So let me, let me show them an example. So here's your salmon. You see this part right here, it still needs to cook a little bit more where it's kind of pink, right? Okay, so you can see salmon when it's almost done because you can literally see it starting to turn to a kind of opaque, like a white. Yep. So I'm gonna give it just a couple more minutes until it kind of changes. Here's the link, everyone. Oh, Rochella, there, there we go. It's called um, 30 Days of Overflow. 30 days of overflow. So each day she's got a message for you. Um, she prays with you, shows you how to pray, what to pray for, um, and just encourages you in the word. So Rochella, I'm going, I got to get the book 30 days of overflow. And I encourage anybody out there, especially if you're an alumni of my pleasant high school Rattlers yeah, in the support, building. So support. you support your own. Yes. Right. Support your own. Chad G wrote a book. I bought the book. Mm. Now I had to get a dictionary to read most of the words in the book. Because right. <laughs> <laughs> that boy's smart. Right. But I bought the book. 
Um, so I'm going to get Rochelle Dow's book too because it's important that we can see I told y'all about the story how um, um, people kind of shunned my mom and dad for just kind of thinking outside the box when they had these visions of entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. I mean, it happens. It really happened. Look, Mama, like Whitney Houston, she said, it's all it's right, okay. but it's okay. Hey. <laughs> hey. It's all right. We still here. We still here. Isaac's still in the building. <laughs> still be yeah. Blessed. So, still be blessed. you got to. And, you, and you're being blessed because you continue to be a blessing to others. Yeah. And, look, it's enough great things out here for all of us to get a piece. Oh, yeah. For yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm. So why are you hating on your brother and sister about what they got going on? Support them. Right. You tear yourself down by carrying that extra weight. Yep. You really do. You really do. We done talk mom and daddy about how um how to, how to, uh, other cultures do. Mexicans and Indians, when when they get together, they they bring the whole family along, the entire body. Get the brother to get the cousin. That's right. They get one. We gonna start a landscaping business, or we gonna um the trees the trees are right. We gonna get a food truck and sell tacos or something, and that's no shade. Like they do that. Until everybody is able to stand um, on their own, get together. Yeah. Oh wow. Rochelle said um, Lashawn Suits actually encouraged her to go ahead and finish the book. Yeah. Look at your baby daddy, Cheryl. Say hey. Oh, hi, baby. All right. Yes. That is a we got to get you up here one weekend, boo. Yeah, I know y'all can hang out one day. Yeah, I already told her. Can't wait for her to get up here. She's waiting. Well, she needs to take off. She's working all the time. Let her know. She got me to pick the gate. Hey, that works for me. She'll get it off. Works for me. I might just leave that right there. I don't think I'm going to stick it in the oven because it's doing what it's supposed to do right there. Yep. The oven just to make it fall apart. Well, it, it'll probably overdo it. Oh, yeah, I Yeah, and I want it dry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to, um... Mm. Mm-mm-mm. That's good. Oh, it's nice and tender, too. I don't know what I did. Love it, spare. So good. All right, now for the sauce. The sauce. I'm gonna make a little cream sauce for your pasta. So I got the um, pasta water going. The salmon is fine. I already turned it off, and I unplugged it out the wall. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> okay, just don't forget about it. Mm -hmm. And so I got my pasta water going here. Leave it covered until it comes to a rolling boil. It's already got the salt in it. The Italians say as salty as the sea. Um, that way you don't have to add a lot of salt after it comes out. Yeah, that's true. Um, and now we're going to work on that Alfredo sauce. I'm going to show you all how easy it is. Alfredo. Sauce, kind of creamy. Right. Yeah. Mama likes that sauce. I love it too. I really do. So I figured I would make the Alfredo because um, I know that's like one of her favorites. Um, so you got your heavy whipping cream. I got a, a heavy and a, a regular. I'm not going to use all of it, but I want to make sure I've got enough. Okay. Um, and I'm going to get... Daddy, where's my onion at? You had a bowl or cup? I sure did. Uh -huh. I got it right here. Oh. Okay. Yes. I've got some, some, some more of that fresh thyme. I've got a portobello mushroom cap. I'll brush that off, clean it up. 
that's going in my sauce. And I'm gonna cut up the rest of this red onion, put in the sauce. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, kind of saute all of these good old veggies together. My um, daddy always worry when I start cutting stuff because I'm left-handed and he he thinks that that's like a legal handicap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not handicapped. I'm not going to hurt myself. Yeah, so every time I cut, he's like, oh, Lord, embarrassing. Can't be afraid of the, of the kitchen utensils. I mean, if I cut myself, I just cut myself. I just put a band-aid on it and keep it moving. All right, but we ain't got to worry about that. So, toss my red onions in there. Brush this porter. Y'all remember how I said to clean your portobellos? Yeah. Or clean your mushroom? How to clean it? I don't remember. Pat it with a napkin. Very good, Mother. Pat it with the napkin. Mm -hmm. Yes. And my favorite kind of paper towel is the only one I buy. is Viva Plain Viva White. The best. Viva the best. Yep. It's the best. If you can afford it. Yeah, I know. I get it from Family Dollar, and I get six rolls for $6. It lasts, it lasts a long lasts time because it's like a paper towel. Yeah. So I'm just going to wipe any debris off. It wasn't very dirty. But I'm just, that that is how you clean your portobello. Okay. That's it. Don't be doing too much. Uh, then you're going to take the little cap out. I mean, not the cap, but the little stem. That's the stem. And And then for these, see these little gills, these little thing, they look like little um, fish fins. Mm -hmm. Just kind of scoop Great. it away. Scoop it on out. And that keeps your sauce, your mushroom itself, from tasting all dirty and muddy. All right, I'm gonna show you again. Fins, scoop, scoop, scoop. You can't see, okay. Scoop, scoop, scoop. I lost a piece, don't worry, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, ain't nothing going to waste in this kitchen. Nothing. Okay, scoop, scoop. Okay, and that's, that's all the stuff that you don't want in your mushroom. All right, so I'm gonna just, Put that in my sauce. All right now. Getting close. We getting there. We getting there. Let's throw that on in there. Cause I'm a, I'm a fry these veggies off in a little bit. Ooh, I think my salmon is done. Mm -hmm. The salmon is is looking very good. No, that's a lemon. Put this on. Y'all, that's what your salmon ought to look like. Nice good. and see how pink and pretty. Okay, your salmon should not be gray. If your salmon is gray, you done overdid something. All right, you're not cooking it to, to well done. It's not beef. You don't have to cook fish that hard. All right, so we're going to saute this with some olive oil in the back. In my Tommy pot. <laughs> it's my Tommy pot. Oh, Tommy, I wish you were here, honey, so you can meet mommy and daddy. Don't worry, they'll be back. This won't be the last time. It will not be the last time. You're going to get to meet them. And, um, yes, that's, that's going to be a wonderful, wonderful meeting. I'm just tearing up some time to um, season my veggies while it sautés. That's it. A little pink salt. 
Oh, yes. The water is at a rolling boil. All right, I'm gonna leave that there because the pasta is not gonna take very long to cook. What I really wanna do is get this, this cream sauce nice and thick before I um, put the, the spaghetti on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, and this is spaghetti? Yes. Okay. So it's just a thin spaghetti mm -hmm. that I'm using. And, um, yes. Oh, look at Martha. Martha said hi, um, Martha, Auntie hi. and Uncle T. Hi, baby. Martha Parrott. Hi, Martha. Oh, yeah. oh, oh God. She just had surgery. She had to go back and put something with her. Oh, wow. Honey, take care of yourself. Yeah. I'm so glad you're up and watching at least. That's your sister. Looking great. Looking for your mom and dad. I see them now. <laughs> Aunt Naomi. <laughs> And Tommy, my Tommy pot. That's right. That's your pot, boo. <laughs> yes. What's the more coming to? Um, is the pink salt better for you? I don't know. It's supposed to be. Mom said it's supposed to be. Um, it does have some health properties. It's not as salty either. It, it is. is a good now, I can attest to that. It is not as salty. It's not as salty. Yeah. It's, it's, it's I use it all so well. Yeah, mom uses it, I mean, all the time. Yeah, yeah and since, since she put me on it, that's all I've been using now. Yeah. Now, if you want to season like a, a big piece of meat, like a roast or something like that, then you can use your regular, regular sea salt, salt or kosher salt or iodized, whatever. But for like a light dish or something, use that pink salt. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. just fine. It's better for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but look it up. Somebody check that for production. Check it for me. Um, Mama says it's, it's better for you, and I believe her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You put oil in there? Yeah. Yes, I did. I got some garlic in here. Okay. Have garlic. Can you do it? Yeah, I just can't find it. It's in there. Oh, here it is. Where's the beef? Here it is. It's, it's, it's in there. So this is my, um, I'm going to put a little minced garlic in there. Put that back on the fire. And now, butter. Get you a little pat of butter. Go in there with that. Oh, hold on, y'all can't see. Okay, hold on. Ain't you ain't missing nothing, nothing really. Little pat of butter in in there. Okay, I got this going kind of, kind of high. And then I'm gonna do my heavy cream first. Once I do that, I might not even need the um, the small one. Keep that going. Keep that going. Because you also want this to come up to a boil, and then you're going to take it down to reduce. Yeah, I don't need no more. Okay. Yeah, it's my sous chef back there. He got me in the trash can. There you go. Yes. That, yeah, I, I'll take it out in a little while. Mm-hmm. This is my Parmigiano Reggiano. So it's Parmesan cheese and Romano cheese. You can get straight Parmesan in the jar like this, but the Romano just kind of helps that to. It up. Yeah, it will thicken it up. Mm -hmm. um, but that Romano, along with the Parmesan, it's not as sharp. It's, it's a really nice little flavor. You're going to like it. So, um, yes. Ooh, yes. So I'm going to let this come up to a boil. And where's my little string? There we go. Just that for me, Daddy. Thank you. All right, you. Ooh, yes, honey. I make the most of this little space. Ooh, we got to. Gotta make it. Gotta make. 
it make go a long way. Got to make it work. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Now see, this is what you want to happen with your your um your sauce. See, it's starting to it's getting the bubbles in it. Starting to bubble um and come up a little bit. You need that to happen so it can start to thicken. And do that before you add the cheese, or else it's gonna be too clunky. All right, because you don't want the cheese to lump it. All right. So you don't want to put it in till it reaches potential. Yeah, well, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put it in once I bring it back down, mm. and then that'll help it thicken. It'll just kind of like, you know, be doing this little thing. Yeah, just take this in the fridge for me. I don't need that now. Yeah. And uh, oh yes, oh, this is gonna be lovely. Get my pasta ready. All right, y'all. They are here. Hey, Misha, Misha. That's my girlfriend, uh, mom and dad, Misha. She, um, Misha was working at the school. Misha now works for the sheriff's department. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, this batch. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, dad is a former corrections officer, so he, he yeah, retired. He loves that stuff. He loves it. Um, so they are here. The mother and the father have made it. Y'all, um, y'all gonna ask your burning questions. The burning Ask them. They've been married for 46 years. And they still like each other most of the time. Most of the time. I say, I'm not going nowhere. They don't, they don't go nowhere. She, she ain't going nowhere, so I guess we're stuck. Wow. Ain't that something to be stuck with somebody you want to be stuck with? You got that right. Ooh, <laughs> man. I don't kidding. know what that's like, but my, my, my. You want to be stuck with. Right. Man, that is, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Misha said, hey, mom and dad. <laughs> yeah, they are everybody's mom and dad. They your mom and dad too, girl. Yes. Okay, mom and dad, um, while I am working my little sugar pearls magic over here, okay. I want you guys to share the story of how y'all first got together. Oh. So I was telling y'all that, um, so mom and dad went to the same high school, they graduated the same year together, but they never dated in high school. I don't think she even looked twice at you. She oh, did. did. She did. She did? She, she he said she, she did. She did. I looked at <laughs> You looked at him. Why did you what? Cause she don't pursue. She like me. No, if you want me, you come tell me. And she wasn't that kind of girl. So she didn't pursue him. Why wait a minute, why didn't you pursue her? She wouldn't allow me to <laughs> 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 so y'all tell them so years went by y'all each went on your separate ways had your own lives how did you get back together so I need for you to tell the people how this happened cause it hold on one second the, pardon me pardon the light oh goodness, Carla. yes well y'all came watch that end now. I see there you go they didn't know that they were going to have to um, do all. Uh, you got to work for your supper when you come in the uh, Sugar Pearl's kitchen, honey. Y'all thought y'all was just going to come here and just sit up and, and eat all my good food and not do nothing? Come on, honey. Yes, honey. So, um, look, my brother Reggie, I work with Reggie well, on that CIS, Reggie Robinson. And he said, tell the people. He and his wife, they do a show together. They do? Uh-huh, they do a marriage show, and they wrote a marriage book together also. So, um, I'm going to be over here working while y'all ask your questions. Getting the groceries ready. 46, yeah, I'm getting the groceries ready. 46 years. Ask, how, tell me the story of how y'all got together. Tell them, tell the people. Well, after years of, I guess, after graduating high school, I went to uh, Boston, lived in Boston for, what, five, six years? I stayed here, 
in yep. South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And then I moved back home. And uh, after the divorce and everything, we uh, met at lunch. Having lunch. Where you meet? What, where was the lunch? Hey, Hannah's Grill, something South Carolina. Hey, Hannah's Grill. Little cafe. And talk for right the remaining of that afternoon after that first evening lunch. We, the next day he asked me to have lunch with him. Mm -hmm. We met there for lunch the second day and he asked me to have lunch with him. And I did. And we sat in the car. They seen something probably. Okay, we I sat there it. and we were supposed to go back to work at one o'clock. Neither of us went back to work. We both sat there in the car talking to each other. Oh my goodness! And it's like we went into a trance. When we came to, came back to realization, it was the all the cars were passing by because it was after four o'clock. Everybody had left work. And I said, oh, I have riders. I have to go pick my riders up. <laughs> well, we had a lot to share with the time we had been apart from high school to so we had a lot to talk about, and um, we did enjoy that lunch and the gathering. And so then, when did, did y'all decide then well, we during the conversation, the same did you know that we she was the one and no, she was Not the one? then. We no. attended the same church. We were and then of the on, same uh, church. Something else came up. And then on Sunday, we uh, said... <laughs> yeah, LaShawn was at, she said Hannah's Grill, the old Hannah's Grill yeah. on 76. Um, yes. Yeah. And then we sat together in church, uh, worship service one Sunday. And afterwards, and I was the pastor's secretary, and he asked, we were having our pledge rally, and he asked me to come up to take the names of the ones who were going to pledge. And he said, young man, you, come up here and assist her. And he said, who, oh, me? He said, yes, you. And he came up and sat with me to help me take the monies and the names of the people who were pledging. And I... Uh, so, after church, he asked me, could he come by sometime? I said, oh, I guess you can. So, I told him where I lived, and he did. Mm -hmm. And, uh, what that, that was the beginning. Wow. And, uh, we dated for probably four months, because that was February. Four and a half. He moved home in February. And June the 16th, we were married. We were married. June 16th, mm -hmm. 1973. That's a love story. 46 years. <laughs> it's still going. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I, now, I knew the story. I hear the story all the time, but I wanted <laughs> y'all to hear it so you could know that, like, this this is real life stuff. But doing that short courtship, we shared a lot. With honesty and, and, and with openness. What we wanted out of life. And what we, want what for we each were other. looking for. And so why, he wanted to know why I never got married. Mm -hmm. And I told him what I was looking for in, in out of life. You know, I was looking for someone who wanted some of the same things that I did. And he talked about the things that he wanted. And from there, that's where it went. Uh, 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 uh. Here we are, 46 years later. Wow, that that is just beautiful. Still loving each other, yeah. but not liking each other all the time. <laughs> uh, that's her angle. Oh my goodness. I have no problem. <laughs> oh, oh Daddy, you know you don't like her sometimes. Not liking was, each other all the time. Him. And it's all right. It's all right not no. to, to like everything <laughs> that I do. It's not all right for me not to like everything about him. But, I, I just but we it. still know our place in life. Oh, yeah. As husband and, and wife. And, and, and truly, you have to respect that. Yes. You, you really have to respect that because you have to know who you are as individuals. Mm -hmm. And I know who I am. She knows who she is. And we can come together with our disagreement. And still yet, we can be together. Not wow. disrespect each other at all. Not especially not before each other. <laughs> before someone else. Now how did y'all decide that you because like I said, and I mean, not everybody believes this, but when we were kids we never heard our parents argue, like that was never even a concept. No, that, that, we never talked that, about we never argued. We never talked about we wouldn't do that or it wouldn't happen. It just happened. Mm -hmm. 
What? We never spoke of that. Because if we have a open, a, a, well, being open, does that mean a disagreement that you can say, well, I don't agree with that. And then you don't get upset about it. And then you move on. But, you know, if, if you have a, a misunderstanding, I'll say, well, I didn't understand it that way. And you can be honestly say I didn't understand And one thing about feel, it, we always talked about things. If I got upset about something that he said or he didn't like something that I say, we don't discuss it anymore. We wait till a time when we have calmed down, thought about it. And then I said, I think that we need to talk. At the best time. And then we talk about what you thought the other one said that wasn't fair or right or shouldn't have been said. And then we, we say, well, I didn't mean it that way. And then be honest about it. Accept it that way. So that's how we've always been. Even mm. to today. Mm. And wow. But it, a lot of people think that when they see us out holding hands, talking, and laughing, they think it's a show. They think it's a put on. But I'm not going to put on Same. for nobody. I'm real. Same. I'm a real person. And, and I'm going to let that be known and shown. I, I don't play games for nobody. I just be who I am. And yeah. that's what I expect from, from him and for anybody else. Well, Mama, if, if my mama ever did your hair growing up when you was a little girl, you know she don't play no games. <laughs> and she says what she means the first time. Like, period, point blank. That's just her. That's just always... That's just amazing, y'all. Presentation. Wow. And I wouldn't take nothing for it. Right now today, I'll tell the world that. Wow. Look, you got these young folks on here um, praising God for y'all nuggets of wisdom. And y'all wanted to sit over there and watch Green Leaf. <laughs> Holding back it. all of this stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this this is this is wonderful. That's what life is about. That's what life is about. It's not everybody. Now, my situation is different. Like, there's some people that um, you have, um, like, you grew up in a dysfunctional different household, so you want something different for yourself, so you don't really do that. In my case, like, this was always y'all. Was but you. I wasn't able to, like, I'm here what I wanted so bad, so when nothing measured up, that. it's like, mm -hmm. it just made me angry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm done. <laughs> and I'm still done. I'm just, I'm just saying, I just noticed that. It, yeah. it just worked out opposite. But it happens to, to people in different ways. Yeah. yeah. And then you have to approach it in different ways. But it's the same. And people are different. Yeah, and people are different. Mm -hmm. But, you know, what you expect for your life. Comparing it to what your parents, what you see in your parents' life, yeah. ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, matter of fact, it's a good foundation. Wow. Uh, everything is built on a foundation. This is true. Don't care what it is, it has to be a foundation. I can't read that far away. Mm -hmm. Got to have, I'll read it for you. <laughs> Got to have, these people just saying, Amen, thank you, Lord. Oh, Camille, oh, not Camille, Camille on um, Bolts and Bennett. She is from. Alabama. We went to Stillman together. Okay. And uh, she said, I love your show. Your parents are amazing. Oh. She married her college sweetheart. Okay. Oh, yeah, she and Taurus sweet. have been together since Stillman College. 20 some years. Yeah, and they have a beautiful family, a beautiful Very relationship. Good. Kids are amazing. They. She does a lot of um, social justice work yeah. in the community. Like, okay. she's that chick. And Camille, thank you so much. Thank that you, is so sweet. Oh, yeah. but well, we hope we have lived an example for others to see. Yes, and truly, we enjoy our life. Oh, yes, we do. We enjoy our kids. We, we enjoy y'all too. I wouldn't take nothing from my son and his family. Oh yeah, they does well. Yes, yes, kids. yes. Cat had some up and down, but she's hanging in there. Yeah, she is. She's hanging in there. We strong. We Isaac strong. <laughs> yeah, we don't fold. Oh, we just and that old bird back there keep on tweaking. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it right there. 
So, this is, um, now y'all, I, I don't had y'all on this, the show for a while, I yeah. know. Yeah, I'm going to show it. I don't, I'm going to show it in a little bit. There we go. But, um, yeah, this, this is just good stuff. Anything else y'all want to leave for the people? Mm -hmm. Y'all see what a blessing y'all were to people today, tonight? Oh, sure. Well, we hope we have been. There yeah, you have. Yes, indeed you have. Mm -hmm. Nope. We came back. We came back. There's a lot of food here. I think you all better come over and, and get some. <laughs> There's no way we're going to be able to eat all of this. Ah, <laughs> I told them they need to hire me, man. Keep this working, is. baby. Keep working, baby. I'm still working it, you know. Oh. Yeah. All right. Mm. So I'm about to show y'all the, the dish. And then I'm going to enjoy my mom and dad for the rest of the night. But I'm going to show you what we got first, okay? Yeah, that oh, right, that's what they're waiting on. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were waiting on They're waiting for the showdown. Tonight. Oh. Waiting for the showdown. I just want a little bit for mine. That's plenty. Far too much. Hold on. I got I got plated now. My plate got to be pretty, but I don't yeah. want a lot on it. I plate. know, I know, but I'm I'm, I'm making the plate. Mother. Okay. I'm making the plate. You know I didn't allow y'all to leave no food on your plate. No, you didn't. We didn't throw away nothing. Show sure did. And we still don't. Man, Pat used to sit at the table for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. She eat then it. she decided she would she was a vegetarian and she didn't want to eat no meat. So she would just sit there and sit there. Looking at the meat, meat looking at her. <laughs> <laughs> she refused. That was a stubborn little girl. I don't think she would eat wieners. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to meet you, oh, she was stubborn. Still is. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. You heard that, Pat? <laughs> is she on? She brought. She. I don't know. Yeah, I heard her today. You know the storm went that way. I know. I wanted to call her this morning, but when I got up, it was 9 o'clock. You got up at 9 o'clock, mother? Yes. What are y'all doing around there? because Dad was on the phone with you. I heard him was talking on the phone. Oh, yes. I had to call and see if y'all wasn't going to back out on me. <laughs> Make yeah, sure. We, we made up our mind on last night. We, while we were talking yeah. to you. Mm -hmm. 11 o'clock? Oh, about, about 10, 10 o'clock. Whatever time. Well, well, I wanted to come to Belt to see get the sale for him for the suit and the shoes, and I this was one of the stores here in uh, Charlotte at the Belt here, but not not the ones in Sumter and Florence. Right. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, one Columbia though. I said we can go to Columbia or Charlotte. Charlotte. I said, but if we go to Charlotte, we could be with Carla. Oh, yes. And then we could be there in time for her show. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> he said, yeah, let's call her right now. That's dinner. That's sugar pearls, y'all. Mmm. Wow. Got some perfectly cooked salmon. Got your uh, pasta there and a beautiful light Alfredo sauce. And your steamed, then seared asparagus right. with a little lemon wedge. I mean, you, lemon wedge ain't just there for design. I mean, you yeah, sprinkle it. All right, dig in. That's what they do now. Don't think I'm being stingy with my mom and daddy. They can have as much food as they want, but they share food a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have them share a plate so they don't waste my grocery. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'm going to move that out of the way. Don't you worry. That. Mm -hmm. that right there. Right there. Hold on now. Hold yeah, on. Good. Mm -hmm. You don't need a knife. For your salmon? 
I want one. Cut my asparagus. Oh, your asparagus. Yes, ma'am. There you go. And another fork. Well, here you go. I got y'all. I got y'all. Bless the food. Well, thank you, Lord, for allowing us to assemble. Thank you, Lord, for the food that has been prepared for us, my hand has prepared. I ask you, Lord, that it be nourished to our body for Christ's sake. Amen. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. I see, they didn't forget to pray, y'all. No, we, mm, no, we never do. If we start before, we'll stop and do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's part. That's part of the foundation. Yeah. That's right. That's right. A strong foundation. Oh, that sauce is good. It's it not is. salty. It Did you is. put some on here? What? Sauce. Sauce is in there. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. I, I know what you want. I know. I know. I know. Drizzle on my sandwich. Look here. Mother said <laughs> she want the drizzle. Look here now. Come on. Come on with it. You know what mm -hmm. I want. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, come on, people. This is how you treat your, your family, your mama and your daddy. <laughs> the people that gave you breath and britches. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. how it, see how tender that sent? See oh, how it was yeah. flaking? Mm -hmm. That's what you want your salmon to do. You want it to flake on the fork. Shouldn't mm -hmm. be mushy. Go on, try it now. Mm -hmm. I watched your show um, a couple of weeks ago, and I said, "Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat some of that food. I'm gonna look at it. I can taste it." For real? <laughs> I said, "Man, I man. love it." Sometimes we sit at home watching it and hungry. <laughs> yeah, get up, go get a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Y'all, oh, I man. got to feed my mom and daddy more often. No, this is good. Oh, wow. And the asparagus is good. It's nice and tender enough? It is. Okay. And I look at you for the whole thing. The whole thing? Didn't take long. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Mm. The asparagus are good. Yeah. yeah. Well, y'all. The salmon is great, too. The salmon is great. Everything is said. good. Thank you. Now, that just makes me so happy and so proud. Ah, I just cook for mom and dad, y'all. Um, <laughs> that ain't not true. You come home. You come I know. Home. I know. But y'all ain't here all the time. So, it's, it's extra special. Well, when you come home, you cook for us. That's true. I mm -hmm. do. Sometimes. Sometimes. Most times. Well, this has been another episode of Sugar Pearl's Studio Kitchen Live. I hope that you have enjoyed tonight's recipe. I hope, as always, that you will try it and add your own flavor. If it's something you would like in it, add it. If it's something that you wouldn't put in it that I did, don't do it. Make it your own. 